Guess what hydrogen sounds like? It's a key of E and it's a color yellow. That's what proper physics gets you to. Oxygen is a chartreuse and it's the key of F over F sharp. Now they used to, like I said, information used to be thought about as just electrical information passing on. But I've got a question for you. Have you ever been at a party with some of your friends you ain't seen in 10 years, but y'all was like 14, you hung out and there's a song that came on and you're like, ah, and everybody got up and was live at that moment. Now say 10 years later, you got a friend with you. He's a good guy, but he wasn't there when me and my boys formed this. So when that song comes on, our DNA tightens, tightens, tightens. There's a particular song, a scale in the genomes for each and every one of us. Now when that song is played, when your particular prime resonant frequency is played, guess what happens? Your DNA celebrates and tightens. Everything else gets pushed out. Harmonic wave resequencing. The carbon is also the key of E and yellow. The nitrogen is G. And all these play a song. So say that the F over F sharps of the oxygen, the green, is only hitting at an, an F. Why? Because there's another frequency coming in from a generator over there that's changing and causing it to change. The F hits the carbon. So the, instead of hitting as an F sharp, it hits as an F. So when it hits the carbon at an E, it doesn't hit it quite right. So the domino don't file right. So the next domino hits wrong. And so now we have a malformation happening within our DNA because the frequencies are being pushed off. But when we hear our tone, we tighten back up. So yeah, I'm in the process of building the harmonic wave resequencer with another doctor who has been able to successfully cure AIDS and cancer. And it's well underway. But I wanted you guys to understand how that works. It's so simple. You do not need to tear the human body apart when all you can do is use frequency to bring it back to its normal space.